What is going on, everyone? I hope you're having a great day. My name is Jeremy. This Jeremy Rewinds. Okay, so yeah, I had weeks worth of footage that I've recorded with my brand new iPhone 14 that I just got about a month ago, and there was a cinematic mode on it. I was so excited. I jumped for joy, but you know, the knees. It was awesome. Like it put me in the foreground, blurred everything in the back. Apparently, HDR and Final Cut and just different settings did not like each other when I went through and edited it. It was all washed out. It was absolutely horrible and it's heartbreaking. Uh, my heart broken. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers yet and I know I don't have a lot of views yet, but I really, it was either show you guys a washed out horribleness, redo everything in a speed run, which is what we're gonna do here. And just to get it out there for documentation purposes. And I really have to buckle down and really try my hardest to get you guys better video quality content. I mean, I was watching Phoenix earlier today, Phoenix Resale Killed. I'm gonna have to just start looking at stuff like him and Pixel Game Squad and Retro Rick, all these guys that I like to watch. And, you know, imitation is the best form of flattery, I guess. Um, but uh, it's just, it's entertaining to me. And me standing here talking to you is probably not as entertaining as watching them do what they do. So, just for the next two videos, because it's going to be the same PlayStation shirt, I'm going to do one video, speed run it on weeks worth of pickups uh, for video games. I'm going to do another one that's going to be the same thing with regards to toys. Oh, I just found another toy up there and something else. Oh, that's a game. Anyways, we're going to do it all. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to back up a long time from here. And we're going to go back to my birthday, which was at the end of February. That's how long ago I've been backed up. Right here, Aliens. Uh, this is Aliens Fire Team Elite for the PS5. My son got it for me for my birthday. Super cool. Love how the game plays. I also really enjoy the sounds that the games play. My wife and daughter picked me these up. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon and Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I was kind of disappointed in this one, I'm not gonna lie. Please, no, no, no! I was really expecting something that's a lot more like the original Power Ranger game, but it is still fun. It's just, it's like a Street Fighter kind of game. And I wasn't looking forward to that. Just this past week, I decided to pick up, now mind you, so you guys know, I've talked about it a hundred times. What I do in my retro game collection, Switch games, PS5s, they are not a part of that. They are just something that if I want it and I like it and I feel like buying it, I'll buy it. Um, the retro stuff is expensive and it's old toys and I'm going to use reselling VCRs and whatever else I can get my hands on uh, to flip those to make a profit so I can buy video games that are old. So these will never count towards that. Um... I bought this just recently because I've always wanted Clubhouse 51. Tons of just mind-numbing, boring kind of games like darts and chess and things like that. Super fun, though. Uh, and another one that I haven't actually started yet is No Man's Sky. I um, actually got this one, both these, for a good deal. I think I paid 30 for this one. No, 40 for that one and 30 for this one. Brand new. I got them off Best Buy. Um, so anyways, but then back up to my birthday. Birthday present. Um... I guess you could say, because I bought it for myself. <laughs> Is that a birthday present? Uh, Congo. I mean, it ha Whoa! Um, uh, has the foam inside, a beautiful disc. There was a CIB version that I was thinking about buying. Uh-uh, it was on eBay. I thought if I could pick it up for $50, I'm probably going to open it anyways. But it went for like $130, $140. And I have been playing this, and it is a lot of fun. Um... But, I don't know, maybe I would have opened the other one and people would have been mad at me. Went to a garage sale, picked this thing up, Mortal Kombat 3 Fighter's Companion. Uh, very, very uh, kind of neat, kind of cool. 
uh, old school, whatever, Brady Games Midway uh, was the, the producer, obviously. But, um, yeah, anyways, it was kind of cool. Picked that up at a garage sale. Another thing I picked up, video game related, uh, a whole bunch of Xbox games. Roughly $5 a piece is what they come out to be. Um, 5 five thirty, something like that. We got Cell Damage. This one's not CIB. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Metal Slug 3. Uh, every video that I had recorded since I got this, I had it on in the background playing on my TV. It was, it's the best game. If you've never played Metal Slug, you have to try Metal Slug. It is so much fun. Uh, however, it is extremely aggravating uh, in certain parts because I don't like how you have two lives and then you hit continue and you think it's continue with a new character from that spot, but no, it takes you back to the beginning of the level. That drives me nuts. So I'm going to be getting an action replay because I am not doing that. I'm too lazy. Video games are supposed to be fun, not frustrating. World War II, Prisoner of War. I don't know. Looks really cool. We'll see uh, how cool it really is. Never actually had this in my collection yet. Oddly enough, Jet Set Radio, the combo pack with uh, Sega GT 2002. Again, these are all CIB except for Cell Damage. Pirates, Sid Meier's. If you've never played it, you got to play it. Super fun game. So Calibur 2. I just recently was watching Chase After the Right Price, and I believe, I don't remember what it was, uh, one of the guys on there had mentioned about how you get a special character in every different one of these. The Xbox, the PlayStation, the GameCube, they're all different. Um, so I'm looking forward to going back through and looking at my other copies because I think I have it for PS2 and GameCube, but I have not looked at that. Reign of Fire. Um, this actually was in a different case, um, but I took a PlayStation, or I'm sorry, an Xbox case and swapped it out, and then WWF Raw. So all those Xbox games came from an online thing on Macari. Again, the rest of the stuff we just went over. Let's see, what else did I pick up? Okay, so this past weekend I was also at a garage sale and I picked up a Switch controller, which is gonna be kind of cool. Um, I think it's got, look at that, it's even got juice still in it, just gotta get it connected. Uh, but anyways, a nice Switch controller so I don't have to hold my Switch the whole time. While I was at that sale, I also picked up a copy of Wheel of Fortune Jr. I thought I had this, because this is, you know, as basic of a boring game, well, I shouldn't say boring, but common game as they come uh i was at goodwill weeks ago again and i picked this up this is a cib copy of cabela's what is that big game hunter 2010 has the all the stuff inside this is um this is just a slip cover so i'm really happy about it i mean i paid 15 dollars. it looks like on the side of the box for it but it's going to be kind of cool going on the, the collection wall up there. I guess it goes for about $30, $35. It looked like online, maybe maybe $25. I don't remember. But regardless, I got it for less than what retail value was. Another thing I picked up, this was a week ago, I think it was. Maybe two weeks ago now. I picked up actually five Saturn games. SimCity 2000, Wing Arms, Robotica, shockwave assault which is the one i really bought the lot for because i had that game as a teenager and i just loved it but i had it on the playstation i've not played it until just now on the saturn it did not age well now the full cinematography that's inside of this the live action stuff it's really really cool still because it's still cinematography still live action um it also came with virtual fighter 2 but i already had a beautiful minty full everything in there I mean, it's a common game, so whatever. So the other one, I'm going to resell it in my upcoming garage sale or I'll put it online or whatever. Um, put it out there for 70% of market because I don't buy into the whole full price thing. Uh, let's see, what else you have? Same kid this weekend that I bought the uh, controller, the instruction manual, and some other stuff you'll see. I bought this Sega Saturn, Sega Screams Volume 1, and on the flip side was Sega saturn choice cuts as far as i know well first off this one i love it because it says not for resale but as far as i know these are just demo discs i don't know i'll pay ten dollars for the two of them never seen it before oh here's the virtual fighter it's not in the best of condition but whatever again i'm not keeping this one mine's much better shape um but anyways i've never seen it before that sega saturn so i figure what the heck let's get it let's try it out and we'll see what then my wife was at goodwill 
and she picked up these for me. Uh, one is called X Evolution Skateboarding. Nice CIB game. Don't have it. And Borderlands 2, another CIB game paid, I think, three bucks a piece. The other thing I picked up at that garage sale, circling back to this weekend, is this Universal Cleaning Kit. I thought this was old until I started really looking at it, and maybe it is old. I don't think so. I could be wrong. I really don't know. But I do know that I'm all about isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. I don't give a crap about these things, but it is what it is. However, this is going to be nice because the one thing it can do that I don't have a way of really doing, maybe I do, I don't know, I'm just being lazy, I guess, would be Game Boy games and Game Gear games. So I can clean those and get those nice and pretty on the cartridge, uh, the, the pins as well. So, whew, we're burning through it. We're 11 minutes in, down to the last six that I can even vaguely remember. I'm sure I'm missing something up here on the wall. Who knows? It could be anywhere. It could be an Xbox game that I'm overlooking. In fact, I'm sure it is because I know that I recently picked this up as well. The Lost or Jurassic World for the Xbox 360. I don't know. I haven't picked up any GameCube games in a while, any Wii games in a while. The Genesis we're going to go over. Xbox, PlayStation 2. We went over all those. Um... N64 I haven't picked up in a while. Super Nintendo I haven't picked up in a while. Oh, look at this. So at the sale, they had all the stuff. By the way, I missed a bunch of games by about five minutes. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, literally five minutes. You know, I was looking at his his pitch or his uh, garage sale, and it was a bunch of video games and collectibles and hats and things like that. And I'm like, hmm. I'm going to go through and I looked at the rest of his stuff he was selling and everything he had online was like reseller pricing. And I'm like, I'm not going to probably go to his sale because I'm really not interested in paying reselling pricing. Uh, I don't mind paying garage sale prices and I don't mind paying up a little bit beyond garage sale prices, but I'm really not wanting to, if I'm going to a garage sale to pay reseller prices, unless of course it's something that I got to have. Uh, and then I guess I'll step up to the plate. But um, long story short, I picked up a little Rob the Robot here. I just discovered, as cool as this was, I'm probably going to get rid of him because he's a Super Famicom. And I don't care at all for anything Japan-related. The games, the video consoles, any of that stuff. I wish this was the NES version. I guess there's gray hands. Uh, and uh, this one has the red hand. So as cool as it is, I'll be getting rid of it, um, but I'm gonna leave it on my shelf for now until I go around and list it. I also picked up from him uh, a Zelda Amiibo that was kind of cool for my son. Probably paid full price for it, but my son was super stoked about it and uh, he was happy, that's all that matters, right? So let's talk about the last six things. These last six things are Genesis games. We'll start with the... First one, all CIB, Uncharted Waters. This one is really cool because not only does it have, you know, everything on the inside, but there's also this very delicate, be gentle here. It's a map. Ooh, almost knocked off Rob the Robot. It's a map, right? And it's like extremely fragile here trying to open it up because it's been, it's been used in its life, you know? And uh, I don't know, I think it's really cool. I like how it's got uh, the writing in there from, I'm assuming either a, a young kid or a, uh, a teenager or somebody at some point in their life had left their mark behind on it, just like I did on some of my stuff. And I just think it's kind of cool, um, whoever it belonged to. Next thing we have, Super Hydlid, Hydlid for the Sega Genesis. Very, very cool. We have Shining in the Darkness. I don't know. We'll see how much fun this is. It looks kind of cool. I love the cover art. It's very cartoonish. Maybe the game's the same way. Mystic Defender. Love that three-headed dragon. Reminds me of Monster Zero, I think it is, from... Uh, Godzilla. Nobunga, Nobungag, No Bun Aga, No Bun Aga's Ambition. And all those, but the best one, 
the most rarest of rare Genesis games that I now own in my collection, El Viento, if I'm saying that right. It's some kind of like anime meets gangster meets, I don't know. I read a little bit about it. It was really, really cool. Um, but um, again, all of these, same way, they're all CIB. Got a killer deal on this as well as the rest. Brought my averages down, so I'm very excited about that lot purchase and i hope you guys are ready for part two because part two we're going over toys